Fucking awesome is this new pen. Is Pikachu inside? Well, I say it's new. I've had it for friggin' ages. I forgot. I didn't know. Like, you put your, your pen out, and I was like, because usually these kind of mad pens, you do that, don't they? And they bounce back out, but you have to you have to push that down. I feel like pure legit. There's colours in here. I'm not even sure what they are. Like, there's a turquoise green blue thing. Is that, I don't know what fuck colour you are. There's dark blue. I know what that one is. There's brown. There's orange. I know what they are. Well, okay, maybe I know most of the colours. I think I know all I know all colours. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, fuck me, that was very well. Come back to the channel. Uh, I do not say la 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 la. Come back. How are we all diddly doing? It's all oh, we should have said diddly. We can fucking forget the got a diddy party. I can't. We need to stop obsessing over diddy party parties. It's well, it's been the main topic of conversation, hasn't it? We've got two legal cat ba battles going on. We've got Man City. We've got Diddy. Maybe Diddy turn up to a, uh, a Diddy party as a City player. We're having a lovely weekend and we're having a lovely day and we're having a lovely getaway for whatever you may be up to. We have a very tired dog today. Uh, we've had some little exercise. We had a bit of a traumatic experience. I've been trying to redo his nails again and it's it's a bit of a traumatic time for our puppy when it's trying to do nail time, isn't it, son? Can't help it, pal. Don't want you going out there fucking scratching people's throats out. About your problems, mate. Go on, t tell us. This is your time to vent and tell the world how stressful and, and hard it is being a dog. I saw a great video about the uh, somebody was like the biggest size come from uh, these things that are debt free, uh, rent free. They get their food for now. Uh, you know all this lists of stuff that we have to do and they don't have to do. And like, that's the biggest sigh you'll ever hear in the world is a, is a dog sigh. Just and you're like, what the fuck have you got to be worried about? Fucking disgusting bit of fucking hard skin on the side of my toe as well. And I've been <laughs> I've been doing other videos. Picking away at it. It's what you want to come and see. You want to come see some fat fuck talk about fucking weird shit as he picks his big toe. That's what you pay for. That's why it's free. That's why you don't get any ads on this shit. And that's why you don't have to pay for it because you get toe picking. As <laughs> it's fucking going on. Obviously, just a big toe picker. I did. My girlfriend's not big, big on toes. Neither am I, to be fair, actually. Anyway, but like, if ever one of her digits pop out, I'm like. Oh, and I'll try and grab, try and grab all of one of that shit. She's like, hey, yes, I, I licked her hand the other day and she nearly freaked out. One of the lads at work was chilling and I licked his hand. I've just got around licking people because that's what you do. It was absolutely, he was spraying some sort of chemical in to get all the, the, the AIDS off that comes from me. I also, you know when people yawn, you go, ah, oh. I did that to somebody once and they got a chest infection. I may be riddled with disease. Apart from just inserting my fingers into people's mouths, uh, I've been having a lovely week. It's been it's been fun. We are getting ever closer. I've just literally watched spit fall out my gob. And ever closer to that beautiful time of the year that we like to call Halloween. We, me and Chris and two of the boys from work have got a lovely little trip line. We're going to do this thing called um, uh, Blight up at uh, Kelburn Castle and Air Scotland. You need to change position, sir. You know, it's over here a bit more cosy. Can you hear the fat man's less? We're going to do this thing called Blight up at Kelburn Castle. And uh, it, it looks fun, it looks spooky, it looks creepy and whatnot. I'm just not quite sure if I have to run. It says shit like going through small spaces and all that kind of stuff. And they've designed this year's theme on uh, I Am Legend and uh, 28 Days Later. So obviously zombies and shit. I, I don't know if we need to run. I, I was there just to walk through. Because obviously that forest we did a few years back... What a crock of shit. This one's gonna be ins insane. But I'm not I'm I'm not there for running. My, my titties can't bounce round a wood in Scotland. Can I get in that path and they're like, oh no, we might need to run. I'm gonna be like, fuck it, I'm dead. I'm out! I'm out! You got I'm dead, I'm out. I've, we've drove all the way up, whatever it is. I think Chris says it's like two and a bit hours. Uh we've drove all the way up there just for me to spark up a fag and, and fall at the first hurdle. So I'm out, I watch from the sides. I'm I'm, I'm done. Get me, get me off, I'm done. If I'm having this big toe, there's nothing to pick on that one. Like, I have the most, like, uh, proper proper workman hands, just disgusting and horrible and full of grit and dirt. I try my hardest to scrub them, but it just it won't come off. I've got these gloves you put on in the shower. I know, fancy it, putting gloves on in the shower. Loads of fucking bubbles and that on it. I'm like, 
And then you fucking, you're like, you're scrubbing everywhere. And then I got my fucking girlfriend. She's like, I ain't got that. I fucking tried. I can't do anything else other than put my hand in a fat of fucking acid. Try to be clean. We just can't. We can't be clean. I think I'm just born to be a dirty little shit. But anyway, visuals, how are you lot keeping it? Like I said, have you, have you had a lovely week? You're going to have a lovely weekend. What are your Halloween plans? Let me know in the comments below what you plan to do on Halloween. Because I think by the time this video goes up, it's going to be like... Two weeks away from Halloween, maybe even a week away. Maybe even the same fucking weekend. I don't, I don't know the, the calendars. Fuck it, I, you know, I took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making love by Wednesday, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of the way I roll. And by Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we chilled on Sunday. It's the kind of shit. I, what did you do on Monday? What the fuck did Craig David do on Monday? Just look it. Did he, was it just looking for a girl on Monday? Is that what he was doing? Was he out of the prowl just... I need a girl. We need a drink by Tuesday. Make love for the rest of the week. And on Sunday, we'll just relax. Is that what he was up to? It's Craig David. One of them pervy pervs. I wonder if he was probably... He was probably at Diddy Party. Craig David and the Diddler doing their shit. Anyway, visuals. We'll get crack a in and take a look at what's been going down in oh, this week's Canoosie News. Because we've got a few stories to get through. Yeah, six, as per usual. I don't know why. So it's, it's usually always six, isn't it? Oh, poor Liam Gallagher. Poor Liam. Said maybe. You gotta be one to me. And after all, you're my one world. Oh, Fucking get me an Oscar. I don't know which one sings out of Liam and, and Noel. I don't know. I'm not an Oasis fan. Uh, anyway, Liam Gallagher thought he had the old COVID, uh, but uh, but his home was just hot. It was confusing and scary. That's right. Liam Gallagher was chilling in his house, being like, "Hey, love, Manchester City, Pep, Pep Guardiola, Erling Haaland, you know, City. Oh, I'm a bit hot. I've got the COVID, haven't I? I'm a bit scared now." And like his missus or whoever was like, "Oh, I've just turned the heating off," and he's like, "Oh." I feel better now. Uh, I'm not as scared. That was a bit scary there. I thought I had COVID, but uh, I'm going to scouse now, aren't I? It was just the temperature being hot. I didn't think in a house, heating on, hot, instant COVID. I mean, what does he do when he goes on holiday? When he goes to Spain or whatever, and the fucking heat hits him, he goes, I, I might have COVID, it's hot. And to be fair as well, if he took that fucking jacket off, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything other than that fucking jacket, lad. Yes, Liam Gallagher mistook being a little bit warm for having COVID. We all know that I've got terrible handwriting here on the Canoosie News and shit like that, but I've got a story that says man kills himself and runs away. And even I'm thinking, that can't be, I can't have written that. Surely, even even seeing that in my, oh, by sheet, that's, fuck me, that's actually gone fair distance. Man's killed himself and ran away. That's right, somehow some guy's gone up to, wh wherever he's done it or however he's done it, I'm, it, 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 in some probably horrific way. I don't know, fucking... What's that? That's dousing myself that's what that is and then set himself on fire died and he's like yay see you later imagine turning up imagine physically watching something like on smile you know where they all kill each other in front of like they're doing that aren't they like oh you watch somebody die now it's your turn to get Marilyn Manson inside of you if you've seen the film you know why I said Marilyn Manson it's what it looks like um so he's killed himself and they've gone over like oh I've just watched him blow his brains out and then he's gone yay see you later you'll be like I don't understand what just happened. You would then start questioning your own life and reality, thinking if you're in a simulation or the Matrix or some shit. Nothing but helpful on the channel, okay? We, we, if you need to get from A to B, we like to help you out on here. We can give you financial help. We can give you health and fitness help. We can also give you geography, geog, geographical, ge, yeah, the help that's geography. Uh, but well, we can we can point out obvious stuff for a millennia, nay, for decades. What's longer, decades or millennia? I feel like a millenn millennia is a longer, aren't they? For, for, for centuries, uh, people looked at bridges and thought, what are they for then? Why have these architectural wonders of the world suddenly appeared? Why from that bit of land there to that little bit of land there and this water? Why is there something that goes across? They are for crossing. That's right, visuals, because bridges help people cross rivers. If there's a river and there's a bridge... It's there to help you and aid you in your journey crossing said bit of water so you don't have to trample through. Because for years before that, before we helped the visuals out, for years people were looking at bridges and going, there's only one way through it. Get through the water and they're going through and they're just getting everywhere. Where I went through water once with a bike over my head and I left my fags in my pocket and they all got wet. I couldn't have a fag. 
absolutely raging I were. But yeah, bridges to help people cross over water. We have a teacher that's obviously getting interrupted a lot, you know, they're trying to educate the future generation and stuff like that. And I'm assuming this is America anyway. Um, but yeah, there's a few ways, uh, they've been interrupted loads and are sick of it, but there are some small steps you can take to interrupt the teacher that they will find acceptable. And to be fair, I agree with a lot of these. So you can interrupt this teacher if you're on fire. Makes sense if you're miss or sir. Uh, my whole body's en engulfed in flames. Can we? Can I go and see the nurse? And yeah, thank you for letting me know. Um, a tornado, I miss. There's a massive tornado coming. Oh, so there is Timmy. We've probably got about 10 minutes. We'll finish this math work and then we'll head on out, shall we? Beautiful reason. Um, room is flooding. Yep, great. So the teacher's doing a... No, kids, we've got about three more feet of water before we really need to start to worry. Not a problem, though. Anything above that, we better get out. Um, what the fuck have I written there? So we go about being invisible. A a alien invasion. Invisible. Yep, if aliens are doing the thing going over whatever, yep, spot them. Uh, and the last one, which is probably the most important one, if Ryan Gosling enters the room. Because if Ryan Gosling enters the room, uh, it will be an immediate from me. Straight away, Ryan Gosling walks in, I'm just going to go, kids, just Ryan. That's what I'm doing. So if Ryan Gosling enters the room, you're allowed to say, miss, shut the fuck up. The goz is here, and she'll be like, or he'll be like, yeah, no worries, kids, fuck clean off. It's more important. If tornado, deal with it, bit of wind, who cares? Floods, what, you'll get wet. Alien invasion, far and harm. What was the other one? You're on fire, be all right, you'll get a tan. But whereas Ryan Gosling comes in, that's peak. This one's disgusting as fuck because it looks disgusting, it sounds disgusting. I've never eaten this, nor will I ever eat it, but I have been with people that have ate this. But... Uh, nothing beats cold sore pops on a hot summer's day. What? <sighs> I'm not 100% what cold sore is, right? All I know is sometimes when you get a cornflake on your lip, uh, it's called a cold sore. I don't know if it's the same spelling or the same, but I've always said cold sore, cold sore, that it's the same fucking shit. I have no idea, but I've seen people dip shit in. Oh, my cold sore, my cold then have it. Now you can get it, and it's all purple and mingany and shit, and you can put it in your freezer, and you can make an ice pop. Who? I'm usually sat there, and, oh, it's, mine's orange, mine's apple, mine's cold sore. That, 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 you're either going to be extremely fucking stupid old, though, or that's for the most riches of rich. And can someone please tell me the difference? Is there, is, why is it a cold sore and a cold sore? Why is there two... Why? Why are we eating scabs on lips? They're probably spelt different or some shit, or even said different. For fuck's sake, I was saying condom for fucking years of my life until my girlfriend said it's condom. No, it's condom. Yeah, it's condom. I said condom. Fucking no, I can't do English. I love nothing more than a happy ending and somebody to get in the happy ending that they deserve. Like this beautiful little bastard who thought they would never find love and then they didn't. That's right, they were looking for love, they thought they would never find it, and they still didn't find it. That's right, they're sat at home, chilling, no one to love them, no one to give their love to. They're like, I never thought I'd find love, and I still haven't. So, hey, the search continues, and I hope it does, but what a happy ending that is. It's nice to be lonely. I love being lonely. When you're alone, you're never really alone. Yeah, you, You've got the, the people that come out of the corners at night to talk to, haven't you? You know, the, the skeleton man that comes from under the bed. You've always got people around you. The closet people. Are you closet people? Oh, that's gay people, and it? Come out of the closet. Why is coming out as gay calling it coming out of the closet? Are they... Is that... That's always baffling me. Is that because people are saying... Gay people chilling closets all day. Like kissing out, making out with boys. Like, let's go to the closet, Keith and Snog. Why is it coming out of the closet? Here in Britain, we don't have closets. We have wardrobes. I think people, some will have closets, but I've got a wardrobe. So if I was to be gay, did I come out my wardrobe? That's a question for my girlfriend, actually. Any PC question, it goes straight to her. Uh, she, she doesn't have all the answers, but in my head, she does. There we have it, visuals. That was this week's Canoes and News. But before we go, you know, we're going to give you the sports and weather. Where this week's sports and weather, what have we got? What have we got? We've got a treadmill fail and a, a pogo stick fail. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Hmm. Sure, I did that backwards. It's that way, isn't it? Hmm. I did that. Why the fuck did it? It's like when I, I for, for a while, I've got to wink. I kept going like that. Instead of going like, you go into it, don't you? I was going out. I was like, or I do the other. I go, so you, you go in. Well done, son. Get up. Well done. I'm, I'm just going... Doing it wrong. Uh, but anyway, yes, uh, so what have we got? Treadmill fail and pogo fail. Let's go take a look.
It's the sports, but it's not really the sports because we don't actually talk about sports. I used to do sports, but then I got really fat. Uh, yes, uh, treadmill fail. Do not fuck with a treadmill. This guy's been all kind of beaten up and fucked up and shit. There's one human invention that we made for us to always lose to. It was a treadmill. One, because who wants to work out anyway? Yuck. Told you health and fitness advice. Sit on your fat ass and eat chocolate buttons and drink Coca-Cola. Then you'll live forever. Uh, but yeah, treadmills fucking up people. We had turtles versus animals this week. It's treadmills and the treadmills have taken a 1-0 lead over the human race. Time for the weather, where I'm not going to tell you anything about the weather. If you do need to know that, just look outside your window. It's a pogo stick, and I remember the old pogo stick. I used to have one, uh, and it was an action man one. I could do about three or four. I always thought it'd be a great way to travel. When I got one, I thought, I could go to school on this and just my way to school. Didn't work, wouldn't work. I'm too fucking uncoordinated, unbalanced and fat. I'm a useless bastard. But anyway, it was still fun. But we had a nice little pogo fail. I don't think I failed that much. That one's a little bit more gross, but yes, be careful with them. I don't think even kids have pogos these days, do they? Who's going around pogoing? I actually want to know if people pogo anymore. I'm going to Google that after this. I'm going to go on eBay and see if people even sell pogos anymore. That is the Sports and Weather Visuals. But before we go, we've got to warm your tummy heart to give you some of Dan's happy ending, where this week we're going to take a look at over it. Full fail, I think I've put. It's just more failing, like me. Oh look, look, it's it's that fat lad, it's Dan. Ugly Dan and he's really, really fat. Person doing their thing, whatever it may be, and they're just, yeah, about to get fucked up. It's a full fail of some variety, of some kind. I can't remember what I've put down, but there should be something happening in one of the corners where some shit has failed. And there we go, visuals, I can cross that off my list of completed videos, my completed list of tasks. Quite literally, cross it off. I don't have to cross it off because the sheet can go in the bin now, but... You've got to cross it off. And that is this week's edition of the news. If you did enjoy, please, we'll boost against your news. Remember, go over to Spotify, check out Dan's Talking Crap, where it's just more of basically of this stuff of me chatting absolute bollocks as the dog just slumbers ever so peacefully in the background. But visuals, hopefully you had a fun time at my expense regardless. And uh, please, uh, remember to always keep being you. Oh, I didn't have a fucking beverage. Me, me, I've just got my fags in there. Ah, oh, broke the rules. Fuck! Visuals, red rules, keep being you on, keep on keeping on. <laughs> as, well, as well as knowing all colours, I, I probably, I think I know every number. Like, I think it, it would be, it would be impossible to know. Actually, no, do you know what confuses me, right? See when you, if you were to tell me to take 15 off, like a number like 75, I, I would take a split sec to work that out. I'd be like, okay, 15 off 75. And then somehow I would, I would be like, oh, it's 65, is it? No, that's 10. Shit like that. I, I, but I do think I, all, I I know all numbers. When you get to hundreds, fine. A thousand's fine. The hundred thousands, because it's straight into a hundred thousand and it's into a million. And then it'll be a million and one, a million and one hundred, million two hundred. I think I know, I know all colours, definitely. And I think I know all numbers. And I know all letters. So I think, I think I've got the box. If, if fucking hell, so have you got... walk in and say oh what can you bring to the table i'll say i know all colors all numbers and all letters i because if math is numbers i know all numbers if english is letters i know all letters and if fucking r is colors i know all colors why the fuck didn't i just get an a and everything i know all numbers and colors and letters